A man suspected of attacking two women near the Venice canals is behind bars this afternoon. The arrest follows the violent assaults that left many people fearing for their safety in that community. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in Venice with details on the arrest that took place more than 100 miles from the actual attacks. Sid. And the attacks, Philip and Colleen, happened late Saturday night. And a few days later, earlier today, the LAPD announced that they made an arrest. Detectives found their suspect in San Diego, and late last night, they brought him back to L.A. It's a great thing that the arrest was made. She didn't want to give us her name, but she and the others we spoke to who live around here tell us they're relieved an arrest has been made in connection to the two women who were viciously attacked late Saturday night in the Venice Canal area. In response to those attacks, which did have a sexual element to them as well, we flooded the area with extra uniform patrols and other assets to continue to protect the Venice community the best that we could. We also began the search for the suspect who had committed these crimes. The news conference earlier this afternoon, the LAPD announced they've arrested a 29-year-old man down in San Diego. Detectives working with the residents and other area resources tell us they were able to determine that Anthony Jones was their suspect. That news has brought a sense of relief to this L.A. neighborhood. People will be more, a lot more vigilant, and, um, yeah, I mean, it has changed everything. City Councilperson Tracy Park represents Venice. She didn't pull any punches today when she talked about keeping L.A. safe. People in the city of Los Angeles are sick and tired of feeling unsafe. No woman, no visitor, no family should be unsafe walking in any neighborhood in the city of Los Angeles, much less our city's number one tourist destination. Anthony Jones remains in custody. His bail has been set at three and a half million dollars. The LAPD will now turn their case over to the LA County District Attorney's Office for considering the charges Anthony Jones will be facing.